Hi, I'm Dan from middleagemarathoner.com, and I'd like to thank you for signing up for my email tip series on rehabbing strategies for middle-aged runners. Now, you should soon receive your first email in your inbox, I'd say within no more than 30 minutes. This email is going to include a link to a short but very powerful paper that I wrote called How to Stay Injury Free During Your Training. Now in the meantime, I also want to thank you for sharing some information about yourself, specifically your specific situation. And I told you that based on what you've told me, I would share with you the top three things that you should do next. So I'm going to discuss those things here in a couple of minutes. But first, if your biggest challenge with running is dealing with injuries, then I would guess you're probably tired of people telling you to stop running. Or maybe you've tried numerous remedies to injury-proof your body only to have the same pain return, or worse, a new ache in a different part of your body. I hate that. So whether injuries occur when your weekly mileage starts to get a little high, maybe 25, maybe 35 plus miles, or maybe it's when you start doing hill or speed workouts, the fact is that it's really common to, if you can't avoid injuries or quickly recover from them, that middle-aged runners just can't achieve their goals. Trust me, I completely know what this feels like. So, based on where you are right now, when it comes to training for a race, like a half or a full marathon, what you want to do is find a solution that specifically addresses your unique situation. And I would say ideally you want a guide or a resource or something that can walk you through all the steps you need to complete your training plan so you can achieve your goals. Something that gives you what to do to prevent injuries when the workouts in your plans start getting longer and tougher. How to deal with some of the biggest challenges and even trouble spots when it comes to either injury proofing your body or helping you speed recovery when you have aches and pains which is why I put together a book that's covering everything that you need to know to train for a half or a full marathon, step by step. And based on everything that you recently told me and the situation that you're in right now, I really think that this resource is something that would be very helpful for you. So let me explain. Now, I've been running for 37 years, and my first marathon was back in 1986. I suffered through a lot of injuries. In fact, so many injuries over the years that my friends considered me the crash test dummy for middle-aged runners. So at one point, I was essentially about to give up on racing because I just couldn't stay healthy. However, I found that with every one of my injuries, I started to learn how to treat them and prevent the problem from recurring. You see, I worked with trained medical professionals and personal trainers and coaches, and they eventually helped me to injury-proof my body. 
The end result is that since 2011, I have been able to train for and complete six marathons, one each year. And each time I easily qualified for the Boston Marathon. I've also, during that time, run numerous other races. All the while, I've been remaining injury free. So, what I want to do here is share with you the information that has taken me quite a few years to discover. And I want to provide you with everything I know about the best ways for middle aged runners to train for both a half or full marathon and put this in one place. And I call this resource Crushing 26.2. It's an amazing step-by-step -step program that can prepare any middle-aged runner for their races. And it will keep them injury-free so they can have fun and finish their big race. For example, I'll tell you in one of the chapters, I discuss some very common running injuries. But I also talk about the symptoms and how to prevent these injuries and step by step process for ensuring long term recovery and recurrence of these injuries. So, using the information in Crushing 26.2, I think will transform you into a confident runner. And I'm very confident that on race day, you can be fully prepared, both physically and mentally, for your race. Trust me, you're going to be excited to race because you're now going to be able to get the most out of your training miles. And your body is now going to be fully adapted to the increased workload of running 26.2 miles. Now you can see below this video that I've given you a couple of race completion certificates from the Boston Marathon. I've completed other, other races, but you can see those certificates and you can see that my system works. And I'll lay it out for you step by step. And for a limited time, I'm also going to offer you some amazing bonuses for anybody that purchases Crushing 26.2. So you can see the details of these bonuses below. And I think you look at these bonuses and you're going to see that they're worth easily over 250 bucks. If you don't believe me, just do a search for personal coaching services for runners, for marathoners marathon training, and you're going to see that it is not cheap. So now that you know that I can help you, and I've shown you the proof that it works, and it will work for you, too, you have a choice. You can purchase Crushing 26.2 so you can enjoy your marathon experience. And from your first runs to the finishing of the marathon, this comprehensive plan will really help you complete your goals. Here's what you need to do next, or now. Click on any of the links below and purchase Crushing 26.2. It's a step-by-step -step program to avoid injury, have fun, and finish the big race.